Hey everybody, this is Brother Paxton. I'm coming to you today from Angelina Acres here, our home outside of Interlochen, Michigan. I want to share a, a proverb. Book of Proverbs chapter 13 and verse 18. I don't have my glasses on, so if you turn to that verse and it's not what I read, it is in the 13th chapter. Listen to this. Poverty and shame shall be to him that refuseth instruction and you know when it says poverty there it is speaking of finances but it's also talking just a poverty of life uh, I mean there's poverty in every area of the life of one who will not receive instruction from other people and God taught me this long time ago you know my wife as important as her voice into my life is or you could say my voice speaking to my wife's life sometimes God uses other people besides your spouse um, as important as we are to speaking into other lives but so many times you need a third eye a third voice a fourth and God confirms many things that way so poverty and shame shall be to him that refuseth instruction. You know, it's a shameful thing, and you young generation of believers, listen to me, please, to disrespect the voice of the elders in the church. It will lead you to poverty, and it's a shame upon you to do such a thing. I thank God for every young preacher that's out here preaching the truth of the gospel today, and I thank God especially for those who are mentored by champions of the faith, by people who have lived the faith for 10 years, 20 years, 30 years, 40 years, 50 years, 60 years in some cases, etc., and so forth. The point I'm trying to make is this. We can all live better lives if we live those lives together and if we allow people to share what God's put on their heart and we can receive instruction from that. And we can even correction when we need it. Have you went through your whole Christian life and never needed to be corrected? If you have, I would love for you to send me a picture so I could put it on the wall in my office. And underneath it, I'm going to write the biggest liar who's ever lived. I mean, we've all done things we wish we wouldn't have done and we need to be corrected. And correction's not a bad thing. Correction is a God thing instruction is a god thing so don't live a life of poverty and shame and then it says to close out that proverb but he that regards reproof shall be honored and that's the honor roll of heaven that doesn't mean everybody's going to go like this for you i don't have to tell you how unpopular it is to be a real bible believer right now it has nothing to do with this world, but you'll be on the hall of faith in heaven if you will just run this race the way God intended it to be run. You don't have to live a life of shame and disgrace and poverty. Receive instruction from the Lord, from your spouse, from your family, and from others in the body of Christ, and never disrespect those who have run this race a long long time because they know what they're talking about they've been down some roads that we haven't been down yet in jesus name this is brother paxton i hope that blessed you today go with god and he will go with you bless you